watching. I have another tutorial for you guys inspired by the 4th of July and I wanted to incorporate red, white, and blue into this look. I did use the same products that I used in my first tutorial and I'll have them all listed down below if you're interested. But if you want to see this patriotic look that I came up with, please keep watching. Okay, so for this tutorial, we're going to basically use the same products that we used in the other tutorial. We're just creating a different look with it. Now, I do want to start by saying I'm using two palettes. I'm using the blue that's in the Anastasia World Traveler palette, but if you do go out and get the Lorac Pro 2, which is where I get that shade Snow, it does also have a navy shade that I will be using a little bit as well, so there's really no need to feel like you need to have two palettes. You can just make whatever shades that you have work. Okay, so I'm going to get started by priming with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, and this comes with the Lorac Pro palettes when you purchase them. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my ring finger and blend that in. And now I don't have my um, foundation or concealer or anything on yet. I'm gonna do that after I finish the base of my eye, the eyelid, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line. And I'm creating this look without falsies today. My first look, I used falsies. This one, I am not. Um, but I mean, if you are into them, pop them on. If you're not interested, don't wear them. Now I do wanna set that going into my Naked Basics palette and I'm going to take the two shades, um, Foxy and Walk of Shame, and I just do that so that it doesn't get super creasy, and I mean, I just go in with a light layer. I'm not really going super heavy. I just want to help my shadows blend easily. And I do want to have a nice transition shade, so I'm going in with the Light Brown Shadow. It's this one right here, Light Brown Shadow and I'm just going to dust that lightly with a fluffy brush into my crease. And I am going to flick it out a little bit because I am winging my cut crease and my liner out. And I'm not going in real heavy, just a subtle base. Now, I'm just a beginner at cut creases, so hopefully this does not turn out to be hot mess express, but you know, whatever, we're just going to make it work. Now I'm going to go in with the blue shade from the Anastasia World Traveler Shadow Couture Palette in Azure, and I'm taking a, what is this, <clears throat> Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush, just, it's a brow brush, but I'm using it just to kind of create that cut crease. And I hope I stay in focus for you guys. I don't have a viewfinder, so I can't see what you're seeing, but I did try to zoom in today so that you could really see the eye look here. And it helps when you're doing a cut crease. Like, I have hooded eyes, so if you look into your mirror, look up. Don't close your eye and follow your crease shade. Look up and just map right above that. And I'm going to go in with a very light hand. And it looks super light right now, but we're just going to go in and map everything out, and then we'll build up the intensity. it lightly mapped out, I can go in and just increase the intensity. And if I 
feel like I'm gonna be messy. I'm gonna try to be messy more on the lid because we're gonna go over my lid with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and that will kind of erase if I've made any errors. Now I wanna blend it out a little bit and I'm going to use my Sigma Pencil Brush in E30 and I'm just, I'm not putting any product on it. I used it to blend this eye, so I'm wiping it off. And I'm just gonna lightly blend it upward just a little bit. And it's gonna take some of the pigmentation away, but we're gonna go back in and build that up again. But I just want it to blend in and look like a gradient effect. Now I'm gonna go into that deep navy shade in the Lorac Pro 2 palette with the same brush. And I'm going to see with Azure, I tried to kind of build up and make a gradient effect, but with the navy shade that I'm about to get, I'm going to hug the crease area. Now I didn't have any product on my brush, but I made a little bit of a harsh line here. Okay, so now I'm going in with navy and I'm doing this very light and I'm hugging the crease. Just gonna go in and blend it out a little bit, no product on here. And I'm gonna try to stay away from the tail. I'm just gonna blend out the middle portion to diffuse it. I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush with no product and just kind of go over it a little bit to diffuse it. And then we're gonna go in with the lid shade. So I'm just going to put this on the eyelid and then I'm gonna use a concealer brush to blend it out. And this is when I'm blending. I wanna get as close to that crease and clean up any mistakes that I made. And I'm gonna go over my crease again too with the navy shade. So if it's a little, a little messy, that's okay. I can go back in and add more pigmentation. And follow it out with the wing as well. I'm gonna go in with that snow shade from the Lorac Pro Palette, and I'm just going to pat it on top of the milk. Remembering to take it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in yet again with that navy shade and just define my crease slightly, a little bit more. I'm just trying to make sure that they're even. Okay, now we're ready to go in with the liner and I'm going to have a winged liner tutorial coming up, um, but basically I'm going to use the Kat Von D tattoo liner in, um, what is this, Trooper? And my Illamasqua Precision Ink liquid eyeliner to fill it in. I'll try to get this on camera, but I need to be like really close to a mirror, so we'll see how that works. Okay, then since I'm not going in with falsies, I am going to tight line my upper lash line. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in, I don't know what shade this is. It has the number 10 on it, but it's just black and I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. So fun fact, my camera can only film in like nine minute increments and so my timer is about to go off so what I'm gonna do is I will apply my mascara um, and I'm gonna do my face without doing the bottom lash line and I'll come back on here to show you the bottom lash line okay we're in the home stretch here so I've done the rest of my face I've done my mascara on my eyelashes I'm just trying to figure out if I want to do blue under the lash line or just a little bit of black um, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. I think I'll take the navy and I'll just kind of put it in the outer portion 
of my lash line and I'm just going to use an e.l.f. flat eyeliner brush and I think I'm just going to do it in the outer portion. I'm going to take that pencil brush and I'm just going to buff it out a little bit. This is the Sigma brush that we were using earlier. There's no product on it, just, I mean, whatever was left over from blending before. But I'm just going to blend out the lower lash line. For the inner corner, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm just going to use Venus from the Naked Basics palette. You can use whatever little shimmery shadow that you have and I'm just going to use my pinky to press it in just to give it a little pop. I mean, you could even use snow, which is what we put on the lid if you wanted to. Okay, now I'm gonna take a nude eyeliner and just go on the bottom waterline to brighten up my eyes and make them look more awake. And then I'm going to do some mascara on the bottom lash line. And I'm just going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. So I'm going to use this just to put on my bottom lashes. The last step is for me to do the lips. And I'm just going to line my lips first with the Jordana Sedona Red Liner. And I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs. This was the one that I got for um, like the IB Rouge, but just whatever red lip color you want to go in with, go ahead and do that. Make sure if you are doing like a bright red lip that you do use some sort of lip liner though to make sure that your lipstick doesn't bleed. All right guys, this is it. This is the finished look. I hope you like it. I wanted to try something different. In my first tutorial, it was totally like out there. I had the idea of just doing the winged liner coming out from the bottom, but this time I wanted to try my hand at a cut crease again. I'm still just practicing them, but I mean, practice makes perfect. If you decide to recreate this look, please post it on Instagram and tag me at kbellabeauty. I hope you all have a happy and safe 4th of July, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.